Greetings, and thank you for tuning in to the Barbara Dean Franklin Show, Real Talk, Real People. I am your host, Barbara Dean Franklin, and today I just wanted to come to you guys to many of you may know or may not know that I relocated to Florida, but I am always Detroit, and I wanted you guys to know that uh, I'm thinking of you. Uh, I'm trying to get settled, situated here in Florida. I committed to just being with the Lord for the first 30 days of my move to rededicate my life, to find out, listen to him, to find out exactly what his Holy Spirit is wanting me to do. And he has been truly blowing my mind since I've been here. But I wanted you to know that as soon as uh, I'm settled, I will be back to come to Detroit to spotlight people who are doing great and wonderful things in the community. I will still continue to seek people who have a gift, a passion, and they want to share that knowledge with others. I will continue to support the great people in the great city of Detroit because uh, we so often talk about all of the bad things that are happening. We neglect to seek and search for the good things that are happening in Detroit. And so I wanted to just take a few minutes to just let you know about the journey that God has given uh, to me, the assignment that he's put me on to relocate in the city of Deltona, Florida. It has been truly a blessing. It has been mind blowing. He has uh, kind of shut my mouth for a minute, you know, because I don't even know what words to say because he's so good and he's so good all the time, you know. So somebody out there is going through something, somebody you just don't know what to do. And I'm here to tell you to just do it, to trust God, to believe him at his word and to go forth. You know, uh, we make things so complicated when they are really so easy. Um, I think about my journey, you know, selling my home, losing my mother, first off, you know, selling my home, uh, moving into my mother's home, into her basement. Many people would have said, you know, oh, look at her. She's in the basement, you know, but that was a time like on the threshing floor. That was a time where God was truly, truly speaking to me about who I am in him, who, what he means to me and the power and the, the influence of people that he has given me to go out and share the good news, the gospel. You know, many times you look at people and you think, um, you know, well, you know, God is doing this in their lives. But when you look at a me, at a Barbara Dean Franklin, many of you who know me, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just not talking to talk, you know, that I'm walking to walk. I'm not professing to be perfect and I'm not so spiritual or so highly, you know, religious or, but I have that relationship. And you've seen this walk over many years, you know, that I'm walking, just getting to know God at his word, you know. And when you talk about faith and having faith, you know, I kept saying as I was in the basement of my mother's house, I'm this close to a breakthrough. I'm this close to a breakthrough. I didn't know when that breakthrough was coming, but I knew I was that close to a breakthrough. And so here I am on the other side of through and God has just been so wonderful. I can't even... Um, began to tell you the place that he set me at, you know, uh, just my surroundings and uh, the nature and the water. And um, there is a story behind, um, in 2005, I helped a homeless gentleman and he bought me, uh, for my birthday, he purchased two boxes and I think they're called Cookaburros. And he said for you, he told me to put my hopes and my dreams into this box. And um, I went into the box as I was moving and I was, as I was packing. And uh, in 2005, the day after my birthday, because he bought that box for me on, in 2010, I asked God, Lord, bless me with the house off the water. You know, and today I sit in a home where I'm off of the lake, where I can look at the water because that just brings me so much peace. This morning, I've started a journey where I'm walking and I'm walk and I'm surrounded by bodies of water on both sides. And it's just a blessing to know that God is faithful, that God is true to his word, that you can't be good enough and, you know, you can't be educated enough and, you know, uh, religious or with a whole lot of titles that has nothing to do with the goodness of God and what he will do for you. But God wants to love you. He wants to bless you. He wants to fill you with his Holy Spirit. His son, Jesus, died for us 
already he knew who we were and what we were going to do and how we would be messed up. And he doesn't care about any of that. He loves us in spite of us. And so if we would stop messing up that relationship that he has, if we would just trust him, you know, the doubt, the fear, those spirits, those are spirits and they will come upon us. The spirit of doubt, the spirit of fear, you know, the spirit of worry, the spirit of lack. All of those things God will take care of. He promised in this word. He says he is our source, you know, so we need to start having a relationship with him. What I'm learning to do is to write, to journal, to speak with God, to tell him how much I love him. And as I moved here, I realized that's something I've been doing for a very long time. So when he said he doesn't look at your outside, but he looks at your heart heart. And, you know, I'm praying every day to, Lord, use me, you know, to fill me with your spirit, to show me, you know, what it is that you would have me to do, to give me the right words. You know, when I'm weak, make me strong, Father God. You know, when I've been stepped on, Father God, show me how to forgive. Show me how to keep loving it. Keep doing the things that you've called me to do. So, you know, I just want to encourage somebody today. I'm still getting calls from Detroit where people are going through. I'm still getting calls where people need help. And I'm still trying to help and do everything that I possibly can to help somebody know that there is a man that is greater than any man that is in of or of this world. If we would just love him. And in order to love him, we have to look in a mirror. We have to love ourselves. We have to make a change in our lives, you know, and um, I'm still going through, you know, I'm still asking for forgiveness. I'm still, you know, messing up, but I'm still trusting and believing that God is able to do all things but fail. So I am excited about just um, the place that I'm in. I hope to, you know, get involved in the community here in Florida, you know, find out uh, some of the things that are going on and how I can even bring a show that will be, um, you know, local to this community. How can I help in this place? You know, so I'm excited about what God is doing and I could not let the day go by without um, just talking to you guys or saying something to you. Hey, you want to talk to me as I'm sitting here on this show? If you're looking, give me a call. 1-888-640-2221. That's 888 888- 640-2221. Call me and talk to me and tell me what's going on in your life. And I know that I um, just really want to thank my producer, um, Isaac Lawrence at WIGNTV.org for the wonderful work that he's doing to his for his vision to have a women's internet gospel TV network where, you know, we are sharing uh, just words of encouragement with others, the words of the Lord with other people, because there are so many hurting people in this world. And we know that hurt people hurt people, but we are we are blessed to have an opportunity to share the word of God, you know, and I'm just excited to be a part of this great organization. I'm excited that Isaac chose me to, to be his prototype, if you may um, say that, because I never, um, you know, worked for 36 years for AT&T. I never thought about, um, you know, being an a internet TV show host. Never thought I had anything to say. But God has really amazed me over these last three years with uh, the people that he's introduced me to, the shows that uh, we've been able to have, the, um, you know, just the knowledge that uh, people have shared on the show. And it has been a great and a true blessing to me. I hope that it has been a true blessing to you. I, again, want to encourage uh, somebody that is out there struggling with something. You're going through something, but just know that, you know, God is able, you know, you're, you're looking because you feel like nobody is supporting you, but God is saying to you that he is your source. You do not have to beg people to do anything for you because God is going to show up and he's going to put the correct people in your path, people who are going to be a blessing to you, who want to help you, who will assist you, who will show you what it is that you need to do, who won't hold on to a blessing and not share it, you know, with you. So, just be encouraged and don't give up, you know, no matter what you do. Um, sometimes I think that we want to do things in, you know, grand style. We want to, um, you know, we want to 
um, like have hundreds of people at our event or, you know, we want thousands of people at our event. But if you have one person that you can touch, then you've done what God has called you to do. You know, many times we uh, we often just think about ourselves, you know, but this walk. It's not even about us. You know, it's about sharing the goodness of the Lord. It's about blessing and helping somebody else. It's about loving on people who are probably uh, unlovable, you know, because at some point in time, I know that I was, and I thank God that people loved on me until I was able to love myself. And that is the key. You know, your help starts from within. You've got to love yourself in order to be able to be a blessing to anybody else. You can't bless or help anyone until you're able to help yourself. And a lot of us walk around, we talk a good game about, you know, who we are, but you could fool, you know, people on the outside, but you can't fool God, you know. And so with that, I'm I'm just grateful and I'm thankful to God that he keeps keeping me. You know, I'm thankful that he keeps referring me to his word. I, I'm thankful that he strengthens me each and every day, you know, that he's shown me over and over and over again how faithful he has been to me. I'm I'm, I'm grateful that I have some remembrance of things that he had brought me through. And those things that he had brought me through make me excited about nothing. You know, that I know that there is nothing that I cannot come through because God has brought me through some mighty things before. And I know he's faithful that he will do it again. And I know that he has not brought me this far to leave me. And, you know, when, when he says that he looks at your heart, heart. You know, when you've sown seeds and you've got seed in the ground and you've been good and you've done all that you can, then all you have to do is stand on the word of God, stand on his promises and just see won't he um, make a way for you. And uh, I'm telling you, he has truly, truly made a way for me uh, when I think about the move and, you know, just the two you know, the two people that I had to help me was my cousin and my godson, my daughter and I, you know, we left and, and drove 18 hours. We packed the truck after, you know, um, interviewing or getting estimates from several um, moving companies, you know, and the, the amount of money that they wanted, it seemed to be astronomical, but I was willing to pay what I had to pay because I knew that it was time that I had to go. And so, you know, but um, my guy son said, no, you know, we could do this. We can do this. And, and we, we made the move. So what you have to do is pray and trust God. And then put one foot before the other. You know, when the Israelites, when God parted the Red Sea, you know, they would still be on the other side if they hadn't put their toe in the water or, you know, put their foot on ground and started to walk forward. So, you know, sometimes we're waiting on God to do some things for us when God is waiting on us to, you know, to prove him, you know, prove him now, you know, let him uh, be the head of our lives, you know, let, trust him, you know, you hear what he says, then move on what he's telling you to do, you know, because faith without works is dead. You know, a lot of times we're praying and we're saying that we're trusting God, but all we're doing is praying. But if we're praying and we're not moving on it, if we're praying and we're not taking the medication, if we're praying and we're not trying to get healthy, if we're praying and we're not trying to balance our checkbook, if we're praying and we're not trying to do the things that God is telling us that we need to do, then that prayer is not going anywhere. It's falling on shallow ground. It's not growing. It's not doing anything. So sometimes we've got to do something to prove to God that we hear him, that we trust him, that we love him. These ladies behind me, this is called against all odds, you know, and I sit here before you against all odds, you know, from being sexually abused as a young girl, from having a crack addiction, you know, from 87 to 94, from being in relationships with married men and men that I know that I was not supposed to be with, to be here today, to be truly committed to the Lord, you know, to, to be to give my life to God all over again, you know, and this has been going on now for um, seven years straight, you know, just trusting God, loving on God and loving on Barbara Dean Franklin. And nobody has loved me better than Jesus. Nobody has done for me all the things that God has done. And I am just excited. Excited, excited, excited about what he is doing, not what he has done, but what he is doing in me, you know, to get up every day. Um, I 
I told God I will be here and I wanted to have 30 days. It's going to be me and you, Father God. And for, um, I went to a church and I was visiting the church. And when I, they gave me a package and in the bag, they gave me a book, 31 Days of Prayer. Now, you know, that was nobody but the Holy Spirit that put that book in my hand. I don't know what was in everybody else's package. Could have been the same book, but I know God knew that I needed that book because I had made the commitment to be with him 31 days in prayer. So when I'm opening this book by Ruth Myers, I am excited to, um, you know, just have a guide, you know, because this is what I wanted to do. This is my heart's desire. And here it is. God has given me my heart's desire. So it's just as simple as that. If we trust God and just listen to the things that he's saying to us, he'll make a way for us if we get out the way. And I think that's what uh, many of us need to do is to get out of the way today. So um, I'm going to just continue to pray and ask God to bless this show, to uh, help me to be a blessing to other people, to um, help me to with Women Empowered Crossing Path, which is my nonprofit, uh, 501c3, that I have a heart for women and children who are affected by domestic violence. Uh, as I work with Michelle Jackson of Smallville, where we're trying to put together a program for young ladies that is called You Are Worthy. And You Are Worthy it deals with self-esteem. It's going to help them uh, get out into nature and grow food. And then we want to help them to cook the food, to eat the food, to eat up the land, to give them something that no one can take away from them, to help them with their self-esteem, to help them do the right things in this world because we see that the world is becoming so corrupt and we have to train up our young girls and our young men in the way that they should go. And so they're looking at us. They don't just necessarily listen to what we have to say, but they watch us. And so we need to be examples and we need to be um great stewards over our bodies, our mind, and our soul. And so um, I'm asking God to just continue to cover me, to keep me, to give me the wisdom and the knowledge that he has imparted for me to show me where he wants me to go, to go before me, to make all of my crooked places straight, and to just continue to fill me with his love. That's one thing. If I, if I, if I don't do anything else, if I don't get anything right, I know that I'm able to love on his people. You know, I, I have that thing down pat. That's one thing. Um, not to say that I can't grow in that area, you know, and I look forward to growing in the area, but uh, in the area of loving his people, um, I, I'm really excited about that because I think I do a very good job in trying to love on people and helping people. And um, But my Bishop uh, Corletta Vaughn, and I love her so dearly, told me that this is your season of receiving. Your season of giving is over. And I truly believe that as well. She said that it would be hard for me to receive. Uh, but I want her to know that in these um, couple of weeks that I've been here in Florida, I've been receiving very well. So I'm just, again, excited about what God is doing. Uh, make sure that you continue to tune in to WIGNTV.org. Make sure you go to the website, www com, and there's some great information that is on that website. There's some great information about the products that I sell, which is unique. Uh, unique is a um, uh, internet, it's a media um, uh, company that is the fastest growing makeup company uh, that is really uh, some great products. Their signature product is uh, 3D mascara, and it is the mascara, and I don't know if you can see my eyes, but I have on my makeup today with no glasses on. Um, the 3D mascara, it kind of replaces the individual false eyelashes, the glue. You know, you don't have to worry about your eyelashes coming out or being um, damaged or anything. This collagen is natural, organic products. It's a, um, a mascara, a gel, and then there are fibers. Um, the green tea fibers that are actually attaches to your lashes. Um, they have the lip stain. They have lip liners. They have uh, the BB cream. They have uh, facial wash. Anything that you think that you uh, need 
uh, Unique has that. And so if you go to my website, that uh, my link to my Unique products is on there. I want to shout out to all of my wise sisters. You know who you are. Nikita Friday, I will be, I, I cannot just go without saying anything to you. I thank you for um, believing in me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for the energy that you have and for all that you do. And um, I'm excited about being um, a part of Unique. And I'm excited about my um, friends that are up under me, you know, and that is Gina, Shima, and Kelly Garrett, you know. So you guys uh, just continue to Hold on to your faith. Continue to allow God to bless you. Uh, continue to trust him. You know, no matter what you do, when you feel weak, go to the Lord. I mean, just give him, you know, just butt naked truth. Don't try to sugarcoat it and, oh, thee thou and uh-uh. Just talk to God. Talk to God. Tell him about your problems and he will answer you. I am living proof. Because now I'm living in Deltona, Florida. Sold my home because I love my sister. Moved in with her. Um, thought that we would move together. That did not work. That God took me that way so I could see some things. And then he brought me here to where I am to, to, to bless me in a way that I could have never gotten this blessing or my eyes would have never been open to a lot of things that I know today that I had to see in the valley. But I now realize, you know, today that uh, the valley is not always a bad place. You know, sometimes you go in a pit and God brings you out of that pit much better than it was when you went in. So I want to encourage you today to just hold your head up to continue to be strong, to look out for me. If you're interested in being on the show, then give me a call, 888-640-2221. Um, give me a call and let me know because I'm planning to come back sometime in July. And uh, I'll be um, trying to put a couple of shows in the can. But I'm looking for people who have a passion about the city, who's trying to make a difference in the city, who has a product, a service or an organization that you're doing something that is going to definitely make a difference in the great city of Detroit. And so I um, I just wanted to really just say to you guys on today how much I miss you, how much I love you, and I am always Detroit. No matter where God takes me on this journey, I am always, I was born in, I was born in Highland Park, but I was raised in Detroit. I'm going to always be Detroit. And every time God takes me away from Detroit, he has elevated me to a different level. And I'm just excited about what God is doing. I want you and you and you to get excited too about what God is doing in your life. I don't care what it looks like today. I don't care if you're going through anything. I don't care what is happening. The devil is a liar. God is able to do all things but fail. It is not a cliche. It is the truth. It is the truth. Pick up his word and just get into it and find you a scripture and just, just remember that thing. Just, just read that thing. Just know it and understand it for yourself because God is doing something right now in your life. And it may look bleak and it may be dark, but he wants you to hear him. He wants you to love him. He wants you to know that he is the most important thing in your life. And if you get that, if you get that and understand that, then you'll find yourself walking in the anointing that God has for you. You'll find yourself walking with power and with strength and being encouraged and seeing, you know, you'll look behind you and you'll see how God is changing your life step by step. Glory to glory to glory. So guys, I love you. And again, I will be talking with you real soon. I'll see you guys sometime in July. And uh, I hope, you know, I probably won't come back to you until that time. But in, in the event that I need to say something, I'll reach out to you. And if you need me, go to my website, www.thebarbadeenfranklinshow.com or follow me on Facebook, The Barbara Dean Franklin Show. I'm always dropping words of encouragement there. And I miss you guys and I love you guys and I always will. So I'm going to end this show the way I always do, telling you from my beating heart to your beating heart, I love you. You understand? Okay.